Good morning, Captains. It's me, Tonic TZW, and while we're waiting for the update to be released on Monday, um, I thought I'd get into a few videos because over the weekend I was carrying on my grind with this ship, the Tier 7 British battleship, the Hawk. And it's difficult getting a good game during the week. It's even more difficult getting a good game over the weekend. But this is a ship, I'm not going to say I'm growing to love it, but um, if I play it sensibly, then I'm having some very, very good games in it. However, over the course of the weekend, obviously we get a lot of weekend warriors, casual players and kids playing on dad's account, and you can never guarantee anything in this game. As far as the build goes, um, I'm running Aiming Systems Mod 1. And then for the second slot, we've got Steering Gears Mod 2. Concealment System Mod 1 in slot 3. And then we're running Main Battery Mod 3. Captain Wise, we've got John Fisher with his Furious Temper running Flammable Cannoneer. Second skill, we have got gyrating drill bits. Then we've got reformer. Master mechanic in the fourth skill. And then fight fire with fire in the last slot. And as inspirations, we're running Azure Lane, Colorado, I think is at 16.3. And Charles Madden, who is also at 16.3. John Fisher there, currently at 15.3. We're on Haven. It is domination. Four destroyers on each team. And I'm thinking, great, you know, DDs will play the caps. They'll spot for us. Yeah, how wrong could I have been? Now, um, I was sending a message to somebody uh, and the game had actually started, so we're almost a minute into the first game. One of the things I do know about this ship that I can remember from the stats is it has a 46% fire setting chance, which is very, very high. Um, what I like about this in um, comparison, let's say, to the Nelson, is that you do have a turret at the rear rather than three at the front. I mean, there's our first salvo. We straight away, we've got a fire on the consolation. But I'm looking around the map at what's going on. You know I always do that. I've got one eye on the minimap. I can see we've got two destroyers pushing Charlie Cap. Now, the two destroyers on here, one has gone down the flank. The other one has cut straight through the capture point and is coming off it. And I'm thinking spot for us take the capture point that's a destroyer's job spot capture kill we've got somebody doing the spotting and um yeah you're coming away from it and this is sadly the state of play but there are far too many potatoes in this game and sadly i am going to be one of them but not before i work my propellers off to try and bring a win to the team and take red team to task now that constellation there he's letting that fire tick we're up to 11,000 damage and we're going to try and put a little bit more misery onto him with another fire and i know what you're thinking why are you going in reverse well the good thing about this ship it is has very good concealment and it has very good range so if you drop back a little bit what i'm doing is i'm dropping back so that my detection radius lands on um the capture point which red team have obviously sailed two battleships into these two battleships here the amagi and i think it's colorado have decided that um, they don't want those two battleships coming around the corner um onto them and um, they've decided to run away a little bit and i'm kind of pinging the map and saying hey look you know let's um 
let's let's push back let's take those guys now we've already lost one destroyer um that went out to the adachi and watching the video back and watching the placement of the destroyers i think both of those destroyers on that capture point were sitting in smoke screens because the other destroyer out there is going to go out exactly the same way to a dev strike by the adachi now you saw from the splash screen the medals that I got on this one, but this is a double Kraken game. Now, I know that um, ties, you know, a win, a draw, and, oh, sorry, a draw in this game is a very, very rare thing. Um, but I've only seen double Kraken games a handful of times in nearly 18,000 games. And I'm looking around me and I'm seeing that the, these guys, it's like, are they sailing away? Um, you know, all those ships down there, we've got two destroyers that are out on the flank when it's very obvious that red team are coming straight through the middle of the map. Our Z-23 there is pushing. There are two battleships pushing back against ACAP and the Richelieu is steaming in towards them. I know there's a Caracciolo here. Um, what I don't know, um, but has just been revealed to me, is that I am located, which means that, yes, I am the closest blue team ship to a destroyer, and it is the Scone. Now, I know there's a Caracciolo in front of me in that smoke screen. I don't know which direction he's going to go, but I'm going to have to take a shot at this Scone as he comes round the corner, and... This was a bit of smart play, but not entirely intentional, because we give him a slap, we don't quite kill him, had that been um, HE, we might have, but I try to get locked on this Caracciolo, thinking my secondaries will pick up the scone I can turn in, because I know I can soak some torpedoes from that scone. We land two torpedoes on the Caracciolo, and I'm looking to try and get my guns round, he was looking at me, We've got the reload coming up, and that is him gone. Now, I'm quite sure that we could have picked up that scone had um, those guys not picked up a very, very cheap kill. And still, our destroyers aren't going anywhere near the capture points. Now, I did notice, watching the replay back, that our lawyer, not Loyang, our Gajamaja is running radar, and obviously he has deep water torpedoes only. We spot the Richelieu off to our left flank, and we're trying to get the turrets round, and I'm thinking we need to push into the cap, we need to defend C cap, we need the destroyers in here now. Where the hell are you? Please, guys, get in here and help because if i get shot at this capture point is just going to keep getting reset we're up to eighty thousand damage we are what um not even halfway through the game yet about five minutes into the game a lot of that was helped by the uh, constellation letting his fires burn but the Richelieu is chasing these guys down he's very agile agile and i'm just waiting to him for give me a little bit more broadside but after putting the salvo out of there i could have waited for a reload on him but he goes out to the colorado because my attention was taken up by this benson who is right in front of me low health boise out there who is going to do his best to set me on fire mr benson i don't know if he's fired his torpedoes so i'm going to keep running for the little island that's just off my bow while shooting at the benson and we take him out for a dev strike battleship captains there is your evidence that everybody should shoot at destroyers if they are spotted and i'm going to land shots on a destroyer at over 19 kilometers in this game if i can do it you can do it honestly go into ai go into training rooms set it up and practice have those destroyers sailing around and practice your long shots on destroyers doesn't matter if you don't kill them every single hit point you can take off a destroyer makes it easier for your destroyers to kill them 
Now we have lost everything on the other side of the map. There is one battleship heading across there on his own. Both the destroyers have decided to come in onto this capture point, but I don't want to get burned down by this Boise. We led him a little bit too much there, and um, this could have been a much higher XP game had I stayed in this capture point. But with the Constellation coming round that corner now, I want to get my guns over. There are torpedoes running from one of our destroyers destroyers and um, he is very very low health but constellation there's the first turret there's another two we pick up a high caliber and we're going to pick up our third kill of the game with the last bit of that salvo breaking our hundred thousand damage boise is kiting away now we have two caps it would be great if the destroyers could potentially go and spot red team's destroyers didn't know what was going on Nagato behind me is still pretty much um, full health I'm spotted it's the Boise he's fired his guns at me he could have stayed undetected but we're going to try and take him off the map for the fourth kill of the game and pop there he goes there is still an Anhalt. There is still two destroyers out here. There is the Anhalt, half health. We have one battleship on his own out there, the Colorado. The destroyers are heading in that direction. One of them could have potentially pushed into the cap behind that Anhalt. We put a salvo out on him. How are those shots looking? I'm pushing towards this bottom cap because we need the points because we lose our Colorado to the one of the destroyers. Caps are king in this game. We've got two DDs following each other around. They've got themselves spotted. Benson, low health, goes out to Anhalt secondaries. That was unfortunate. This is going to be even more unfortunate because it does look like a crack and kill, but we obviously leave him with a sliver of health. The Benson did manage to turn and get his torpedoes off. And as I'm thinking, no, here goes my Kraken. It's going to disappear. I fire the shot just in case, but yeah. Benson gets a flesh wound, but is potentially, potentially... Now, I don't want to say he's cost us the game, because do you want to know who cost us the game? I cost us this game. And I'm going to put my hands up and admit it. The Gajamaja, we know he can't torpedo either of those destroyers because he has deep water torpedoes only. I'm looking for this reload, looking for a shot on that Yudachi, and I'm trying to figure out what he's doing. Now, that Yudachi... Even though it's a torpedo boat, he's got quite healthy guns. But there's also air sims out there. And I'm trying to look for where he's going. And just before I pull the trigger, he disappears. Because the Gajamaja has pulled away from it. There is the sims as well, full health. So here we go, 19.7 Ks. We've got HE loaded. We're putting those shots across the top. The Nagato is doing the sensible thing and he's going to push through to a Bravo cap. And we are actually going to land those shots on there. Two hits, one fire. We pick up a Confederate with it. If there's anything to say that I've been working the ships on this map, it is that Confederate medal because that is at least 20% damage from six different ships in the game but our Gajamaja goes down to guns two destroyers versus two battleships red team have the lead but with three minutes on the clock left to play and potentially pulling back two capture points from them we could we could win this one now the way i would play this if i was those two destroyers is i would split one cap each one after the nagato one after me and this is what i thought they would do but as i said earlier you can't predict potato you can't second guess every single game but i do make a good guess on this game and the Nagato turns around and says, you know, defend that cap. And I'm watching the points on the clock and I'm thinking, OK, if we turn that cap that the is it? Sorry, was it Nagato or an Amagi? I can't remember now. 
But um, I think if he turns that cap with the time left, if we survive, or if at least one of us survives, we have potentially still got the win here. Now, I know those guys are going to be pushing down in this capture point, and I really should have held at this point here. This is where I make one of my stupidest plays of the weekend. Because I've pushed out, I am spotted. I see torpedoes heading across to that guy across there, and I'm thinking, okay, they have split on the caps. There is one destroyer going for each cap. One of the destroyers has now pulled into B cap. We have the lead on points. We can do this. All I need to do is defend this capture point from one destroyer. There it is. It's the Sims. He's already taken a hit. That Gajamaja barely touched him. I think all the only hit points he's lost are the ones that I took off him with that 19 and a half kilometer shot. We blind fire with the next turret and we're trying to swing that torpedo around to um, try and flush him out the smoke screen. But no, there's the Yadachi and this is where my heart sank because I knew that I was going to die. But I thought the other guy is still alive. We've lost sight of that guy. Here we go. It's going to be a Kraken, not just for me, but look at the screen there. The Adachi takes me for a Kraken kill as well. And I'm thinking we've still got the points, but no, the Adachi actually hit the other battleship as well and took a double strike right at the end. And I was absolutely kicking myself that I overcommitted to that one and potentially cost us the game. I hate myself. Look at that. 2,395 base XP. That would have been, what, a 34, 3,500 easy. But the Adachi takes six kills with his Kraken and 4,232. So GG's to you if you ever watch this video. And I apologize to Blue Team for my overcommittal and trying to second guess my own stupidity in that one but that isn't the only kraken i've had in the rook if i remember i will link them into this one because it is a triple kraken ship now and does fly the jolly roger kraken ship number 74 as always Stick around, click a link, smash the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought of my stupidity in that one, and subscribe if you haven't. As always, until next time, take care of yourselves, and goodbye.